Hi guys, it's Carol from Micro Homesteaders. Well, spring has uh, finally come around here, part-time anyway. Uh, you know, I got tired of waiting so I could get out in my greenhouse because it's not heated. Uh, so I'm set up in the laundry room here and I've got some things planted, some early things. Uh, these have already popped up. Over here, I just planted yesterday. Here I have some seed in bags. I'm trying to uh, rush some pepper seeds a little bit. Now, my sweet potatoes here, I've started those in February. And uh, considering how cold it's been, they're doing pretty good. Uh, we can't plant them till it gets really warm anyway, so I think they'll be ready. I'd like to take you out to uh, my little side porch greenhouse and show you uh, my setup out there. Probably in a couple more weeks, I'll move everything out there. We're out here in the greenhouse, and I'll show you my little table I got at Walmart several years ago. And this is what I use uh, to sow my seeds. And normally, the whole operation would be done out here. Uh, the lights and everything, the grow lights would be up. And it has been so cold that it's just too cold to do it out here. So that's why we're using the laundry room. It's really easy to keep warm. And we, I'll sow the seeds out here and take them in and keep them in there until uh, oh, two, uh, at least a couple of weeks and then it'll be warm enough to bring them out. This is where uh, I put my seedlings. Normally I would do the whole operation out here, but it's been so cold that we haven't been able to, so I take them in the house. But in a couple of weeks, It'll be warm enough that I can have everything out here and they'll stay out here until time to harden them off and then we'll harden them off and then they'll go in the garden. But we'll bring you back after we get everything out here so you can see how everything looks. Well, we've, uh, we've heard people talking about what they're growing in their garden this year new, and I'm growing Kitchen King green beans. I hear they're really good, and I'd like to try it. And another one is rattlesnake pole beans. I've, uh, I got some of those at the farmer's market and they are delicious, but I've never grown them. But I would like to this year, and uh, I'm sure they are going to be good. I tell you, we're getting a new fence. The one we had was just four foot tall, and the deer, oh, the deer would just jump over that fence like nothing and eat everything in sight. But, uh, hey, we're going to put up a six foot fence. Yeah. And if they get into that one, I don't know what to say. Yeah. It's going to be uh, really nice having a new fence and, those and trees, some raised beds. What really made it all work out nice was the fact that we had two trees that over the last 15 years became so tall and so big they were shading the garden and they were going to fall on the garden fence so hey we just decided to take it the garden fence out and put in a taller fence and we're going to use that uh, the old fence we're going to use for a chicken run so everything worked out real well yeah you know it's <laughs> it's hard not to watch all the videos of people planting their garden and I just get uh, really anxious 
but really and truly this is about the normal time that I would start my seeds so I'm not behind I'm on time well we get to watching those guys down south yeah. and we just get yeah chomping at the bit and we want to do something too but we just have to be patient and mm -hmm. wait for the weather to catch up with us yep and you know it'll be here sooner than we think probably in about 10 days to two weeks we'll have everything out here and then we'll bring you back to let you see how everything is going thanks a lot for uh, joining us out here today we're really glad that you did if you haven't subscribed yet do so and give us a thumbs up if you like our video Bye-bye.